whole world just feels like it's crashing down on me. The war is on. She's no longer my friend. She should be scared of me because I will do anything to tear her apart. I'm gonna have to ask that you leave. What are you doing? She was escorted out of the hotel and asked to never come back again. I'm not gonna be your arm candy because I'm a model. I am Paul Johnson Alderaan. Where's there the climb when you're already at the top? You gotta choose your daughter. I was trying to save you, Kinsley. Break my heart. I just want my mommy back. Hair and makeup are a girly girl's best friend, and right now I'm getting ready. I'm getting trashed in the press, and tonight is my chance to take matters into my own hand. There's a party tonight for a former Page Six editor, and I really want her advice on how to deal with the latest horrible headlines. Yeah? That bitch. She wants to add fuel to the fire here and make you, you know, get all riled up. Alex came over to talk to me about this New York Magazine article where this girl, Devora, um, said something about me. The war is on. I am pissed. Uh -huh. I cannot believe that she would say something like that about you. Jason was telling me about the article, and it's just so outrageous. She used to be a Park Avenue princess. Now she lives in Chelsea. She's dating this prince. Where the heck is his crown? Maybe he's a Canal Street knockoff. Oh my god. Who the what does she think she is? She's a literally a delusional piece of white trash. It's just so outrageous, so absolutely not a word of it is true. You know, she wrote that article on me like two years ago or something. I don't know Devorah very well. She definitely was using me as a way to get a little bit of press. Honestly, then she's delusional. Poor, poor Tinsley. She's just getting pounded in the newspapers now. But should you not respond to it? in some way. What am I gonna say, Mom? It's snowballing now. I mean, I read, you know, Tinsley's a failure, Tinsley's marriage, Tinsley's this. Everywhere she goes, she doesn't look well, she's not happy, everything. She is just trashed in the press. My stomach is like, has been just turning over. I mean, I don't, the, the thought of, you know, know having to say something, I don't wanna say anything. I know you don't wanna respond, but I would just do one thing, and they would close the door on all this stuff. If people heard that you would nail this girl, it would be over, all this bad press. For her to pick a fight with me is gonna get her press, and that's why she's doing it. You can do it as a lady, you just say, Devorah, I beg your pardon. <laughs> I beg your pardon. Devorah, I beg your pardon. I don't believe I, we've ever been. I, I don't ever believe we've ever friend. met. No, no. I've never considered you a friend. Mommy, that's mean, though. I know it's mean, but she's saying mean things about I you. I know, I know, but I won't do that. Okay. Tonight, I am going to meet Tommy at a club. I feel badly. The last time I saw him, I like made him cry. The last time I saw him, we got into a big fight and it was really dramatic. Stop. No, stop. I do. Stop. stop, 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 stop. Don't do this. No, Don't I go should home. go home. I should go home. All right, peace. I really want to make up with him. I really want this. I want to see this work. Hi, Hi. how are you? How are you? Good. Good to see you. Oh I'm really sorry about the last time we hung out. It was really bad. There's a difference between where Tommy comes from and where I come from, and Tommy's much more down to earth because of that. And that's a quality I like in him. I have to say, I've never been with someone so um, dramatic. Yeah. Your zen side yeah, and my yeah, yeah. dramatic but side are like yin and yang. This is the first guy that I'm starting to feel like a little vulnerable about. I want this relationship to be perfect. I want it to be happiness. I want it to, you know, nothing but good times. You're such a good kisser. Me too. <laughs> I love it. Whether Tinsley wants me to or not, I decided to deal with this divorce situation. This girl is a classic social climber. She was probably thrilled to get a call from Tinsley's mother. And amazingly, she agreed to meet with me. Hi. Hi. How gorgeous are you? Oh. I knew who you were. Mm. So she walks up and there are these lips. I have to tell you, I just read this article in um, yeah. the New York Magazine online. Yeah. The article, I was just stunned. I was surprised, Devorah. You must have been hurt. Devorah appears somewhat common to me. It's funny, I, I understand where you're coming you from. You really don't know where I'm coming from. I am her mother. Yeah. And I am her mother who loves her. And I know Tinsley. And I know Dabney. Oh. And you know Devorah. Mm -hmm. But those girls are good girls. 
Honestly, if I were your mother, I'd give you an old-fashioned spanking is what I would do. Okay, I'm just coming from a position where I of feel what? hurt and Why are you hurt? Betrayed. She wasn't your friend, and honey. I mean, I have to tell you, Tensley tells me who her friends are, and I've never heard her mention you as her friend, honestly. Devorah wants desperately to be liked and accepted by Tinsley and her friends. But unfortunately, she's just not at that level. I feel used. I feel that Tinsley at one point was my friend and we spoke a lot, we texted, we would go to breakfast, and I feel like she got a cover and then she disappeared. Now, Deborah, you know um, yourself that she had many covers before your cover, and your implication in the article is that you made her, you changed her hair, you did everything for her, and you know, honey, you didn't. Tinsley is Listen, Tinsley, I... and she doesn't need to be made by you or anybody, I'm just telling you. Deborah. Don't run away. Devorah. Devorah's a coward. For goodness sakes. Devorah ran for the door. She can put it out there, but she can't take the heat. Devorah. Listen, you shouldn't I, I have get said it. the thing she I said. Get it. I'm coming from an honest place yes. where I you feel snubbed and hurt, and someone who was my friend, I mean, I guess she wasn't if she never talked about me to you. <sighs> she attacked her and that's not gonna happen on my watch. Deborah, I'm gonna tell you something. If you wanna be in this world of all this New York world, if you're gonna give darts, you gotta know that you're gonna receive some and you don't want that. Don't talk about people ever. If you put bad stuff out there into the universe, I swear to you, it will come back and hit you in the face, honey. Bye now. Alrighty. Devorah's just not in the club. I mean, she's just not. She's not, and she will never be because girls who are raised properly and have manners and are lovely don't do these things. If she wanted in to this group, she's, there's no possibility now. She's failed the test. Oh my God, why is she at my party? This is a big deal for me though, Daddy. I know, but it's not my fault, Jewel. Frolic used to work at Page Six, and she used to be someone that I was honestly terrified of. <laughs> Normally, I would never show up to this woman's party. She used to write the meanest articles about me, but I have to figure out how to get these gossip writers on my side. When I saw Paula, I asked her if we could step outside so we could talk about some of this bad press that I've been getting lately. I know it's been a little awkward between us over the years. Yeah, no, I know. I um. I felt like I was sort of like helpless against like the machine of page six and everything that would happen. And I don't even know if it really was you all the time, although I thought that it was. And um... You're not putting yourself out there. A lot of people have a lot of knives out for you. I feel like I'm getting a really bad rap. And how do I defend myself against you and page six? It was just one of these things where it's like, A, you should have called. I thought if I picked up the phone and called page six that she would you know, laugh at my face and then write something even meaner. Like, I had no idea this is what you're supposed to do. I get really hurt by everything that happens. I think you need to take it with a grain of salt. Yeah, I know. She actually gave me really good advice. She's explaining to me and helping me kind of in the future what to do about it. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Come on in, let's play. Okay. <laughs> I'm really upset. I was playing PlayStation with my friend and they just like came and kicked me out. Uh, I'm gonna have to ask that you leave. I was in utter shock. What the f are you doing? Uh, Miss Kirby? This whole hotel thing is a really big deal to me. It's on the internet, it's absolutely everywhere. So just keep your hips up a little higher. I'm so sick and tired of this whole gossip circle, including Tinsley, Dabney, and Deborah Rose. And it's really upsetting, it really is upsetting. So many of my friends had said to me, Dale, you know, you're not gonna meet the kind of man you wanna meet in Newport and Palm Beach, it's the same old guy, same old trust fund baby. They said, go to a dating service. So I went on the internet and I found this exclusive
exclusive online dating service. I was very nervous. Hi, Dan. Hi. I'm Claire Wexler. Claire. They don't just put any woman on here. You know, you have to be vetted. You have to pass this interview. It is a very exclusive service, and all the gentlemen who come to us are definitely commitment-minded. I had heard that the guys had to put up $100,000 just to get on this service. We always say our clients are marriage-minded, not mattress-minded. <laughs> and also successful. I mean, our fees in New York start at 20,000. I felt cheap. I felt cheap. I thought it was at least 100,000. I just want a man who's kind and compassionate. I have this fantasy. I just start making that man into like this perfect man. Into like a prince? Oh God, you've said the wrong word. Yeah. Did I touch on a nerve? <laughs> not a prince. <laughs> Definitely not a prince. Princes are not all that they appear to be. Two things I want from a man, and that's really it. He can dance, and he makes me laugh. Well, that doesn't seem like that tall or in order. It doesn't, <laughs> let me tell you. You know, Claire, um, I have really everything I need in life except for one thing. Um, I just really, I really want to fall in love. I really want to fall in love. I was divorced eight years ago from the girl's father, and my love life has been sporadic at best. Watching Tinsley go through her dating whirlwind made me realize it's time for me to jump back in. Do you really think that you can find someone that, um, whom I would like and who would like me? Um, I'm beyond confident that I can introduce you to somebody fabulous. I got chills. It was just so exciting. You're in good hands. Can't wait. Can't wait. This is my party, so go. No one even knows where the f you come from. Everyone thinks okay. you're a man. She is an empty carcass of a human being. Oh, man. Trash bag. I'm the new face of a bikini line called Danila Brazil. Oh so God. excited. <laughs> Nayla's the designer, and tonight is the launch at the Grace Hotel. The girls were showing off their personality and the bikinis. I was so happy. Everything was perfect. We are announcing Devorah Rose as the face of Danilo Brazil. I became the face of Danila because she just loves the way the suits fit on me. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. I love wearing a bikini. If I could go to sleep in a bikini, I would. Everybody was having an amazing time. And then it got horrible. Jules Kirby showed up uninvited to my party. Oh my god, no, she isn't wearing that. <laughs> it's a heat wearing that. I love bikinis. I have thousands of bikinis. So I've heard about this bikini party, and I had no idea that that white male woman thing was going to be there. Oh my god. There is this girl who I really do not like, and she was not invited. I know when she's at a party because I can smell her. I can smell the patheticness just coming off of her. Why is she at my party? She is racist, homophobic, an empty carcass of a human being. She reminds me of something sticky on the bottom of my shoe that I just want to scrape off. This is so ridiculous. She told one of my friends that like she owns St. Bart's. She knows everybody. And I went to St. Bart's. I went everywhere and nobody knew her name. This is like the most awkward There's party I've ever been to. I'm surprised to see you here. I would too. I didn't know this was some suit place for <laughs> I'm actually doing stuff with my life. I'm the face of the swimsuit line, okay, which is going to be featured. No one invited you. Oh, no please. one's here to watch you. You got like 10 models who are on like American Next Top Model. And that's oh, it. Listen, well, I'm gonna, gonna tell you the this. difference between oh you and me. What, that I, you have well, have that I have balls that, like, that I can say people. stuff? No. And you I'm don't have your I have a job. You're not a woman, your name's not even Devorah. We don't even know where you're from. Darling Kirby. Yes, it Darling is. isn't your middle yes, name. Yes, it is. You're, you're celebrating your birthday on my a day that 
Okay, so oh, I have friends that I get salary for my birthday up. twice a year. By the way, year. you don't own St. Bart's. I went to St. Bart's. I don't, I don't even own it. I don't own St. Bart's. Who's All I have to say is that you go around saying that St. Bart's. Yeah, I mean. This is my party, so go. She's so ugly. Like, I don't know why she thinks she's attractive. Like, does she look in the mirror? I'm just saying, yeah, I have absolutely nothing to tell you of the fact that you're trying to claim that anyone else is fake when no one even knows where the f you come from. And your fake I'm name. I'm actually very clear. No one, no, who I no am one's very clear as to where you're from or your yes. fake body or anything, your fake face. Everyone thinks okay, you're a man. Keep going, keep and that's going, it. And I feel really, really, really embarrassed for this bikini uh -huh. line that's trying really? to support you and have okay, use their face. Interesting. No one's going to buy it. So you're going to walk away? You're gonna walk away, really? Well, I'm scared I can catch your disease in the air. Are you air. scared? I didn't understand why she kept harassing me, and I didn't even know what to do. But I don't know, I got caught up in the moment. You know, walking away after being so disgustingly rude is classless. I am. Wow. She is a trash bag. She's not even trash. She's the receptacle for trash. She deserved every second of it. F***ing trash bag. All right, end of that. Divorce or loser in this. But then again, I mean, for a man, she looks amazing in a bikini. I hadn't seen Jules since she was asked to leave the hotel. What happened outside the hotel, though, like, really wasn't me. We're not trying to blame me for it. I'm sickened by the fact that she's not taking any of the blame. There's only two blondes in the room. Are you drunk? Hey, mm, I haven't seen you. Oh, I, I miss you. How's it going? I missed you too. Oh my god, so much drama. I hadn't seen Jules since she was asked to leave the hotel, and we've been Blackberry messengering back and forth. You know, I was excited to see her. Everything seemed normal, and then I sensed this like pressure coming on me immediately, and, and it came out of nowhere, and it was it was kind of shocking. So I'm so pissed to be out of the hotel. I know, I miss you. I don't know, they're like it's been making, so lonely without you. But they're making up all this crap. They're like. Oh, you and your boyfriend were outside Thursday night, like fighting at the hotel. I was like, that's so not me. They're we, blaming me for everything that they're no, trying to no, no. like. Yeah, oh, they wait, are. Jules, what I was kicked out of the hotel for was something I did not do. You do know that, like, you have had some trouble with the hotel. Like, you kind of yelled at people on the phone. I had a serious issue yesterday, and it's absolutely atrocious. They said, like, the last straw was some fight to have out of the hotel, and it was Wait. not me, and I was you're confusing okay, well, with somebody else. All I know is just gradually it, like, built no, up over a lot of things. No, they're They're saying that it but was babe, you know you incident. were throwing the phones against the walls. She's like, get the this is a really big deal. Like, yeah. it's really embarrassing. It's like, embarrassing for you, At the yeah. racket club on Saturday. That's like my dad's club, and everyone was talking about, like, oh, Jules got kicked out of the hotel. But what happened outside the hotel, though, like, really wasn't me. Well, then you need to tell them that. You obviously didn't do it. No, and I really didn't do it. I mean, Jules. And then that night, you came home, you were arguing with some guy. Not me. Like, that was not me. I hope you're not trying to blame me for it. There's only two blondes I, in the I, room. I do know. Are you drunk? Sorry, I know that was just kind of inappropriate. It's upsetting that she's trying to blame me, and especially for one certain incident when she's been horrible since the first day she moved into, into the hotel. You were kind of on your last straw before, so I think you do know that there was kind of a build up to it, so. Like, well, clearly it was not me. I just don't want to be accused of something I didn't do. Instead of admitting to it, she expects me to take all the blame for it. Enough. This is a big deal for me, though, Daddy. I know, but I, it's not my fault, Jules. I don't know what else you want me to do. You do have to take kind of a little bit of blame. Excuse me, a little what? bit of blame? We threw a party, you were up later than me. That okay, night with Jules. you and Mark were fighting at the game. Right, Mark, so you want to start you it? Mm -hmm. Jules, stop doing acting crazy again. Are you taking your crazy pills? Really? I don't want to deal with any of this this petty drama that you know has to do with problems with her personality. I'm sickened by the fact that she's not taking any of the blame. I'm not gonna be blamed for something I didn't do. Like it's really, really rude. She got me kicked out of the hotel for her. And I'm angry now, and I'm leaving. I don't want to talk with them anymore about the hotel incident that I had nothing to do with. Dog pitch. Only dogs can hear her now. It's not my problem. I feel badly that she got kicked out. I don't know why. It's not my fault. I will not go talk to the hotel for her if she's going to be rude to me. The truth of the matter is we all know that it's been Jules who's been having a problem with the hotel from day one. Yeah, she's going to cry. It's just really wrong. I'm going to walk away from a problem like that. I'm leaving and it's it. I think I'm at a point now where I just need to kind of step away from our friendship. I think it's better that we're not living together. <laughs> on High Society. Guest of a guest threw a party and everybody who's anyone was there. Ah, 
I've had enough of it and I'm just not taking it anymore. I'm looking for a committed relationship. Here we go. 5.30 in the morning and Topper is standing in my living room. Do you think it would be weird if we like got back together? Hello. How are you? You're Dale. I'm Dale. My mom dating makes me laugh because she's such a big dork. I'm coming in from Milwaukee. Are you? Yeah. I mean, are there lots of cows there? <laughs> you guys gotta come see my show. Constantine and I have been emailing back and forth. Will I get to see you ever again? Maybe if you're lucky.